Hello lovelies, my name is Amanda, also known as Mrs. Archiver. Today we're going to be planning in my Hobonichi Weeks and my B6 planner while I talk about my life. If you're the type of person that loves to plan or watch or listen to people talk about their life as they're playing with stickers and stationery, then keep watching. Okay, lovelies, so I'm happy that you're back if you've subscribed. Welcome if you are new. I want to make a little disclaimer. Today we're gonna to be talking about mental health, and if that's okay with you, then keep watching. And if not, that's okay too. But I am gonna be uh, touching a little bit on anxiety, mental health, and uh, that kind of thing. So just wanted to let you know and give that little disclaimer. Okay, so how are you? Welcome back. I feel like this week, last week, we, uh, week 20 flew by and I'm happy to be back and be sitting here and filming and making a video for you guys. It has been one heck of a roller coaster of a week, but before I get into that, let's go ahead and <clears throat> dive into what I'm going to be using today for my, oh, my little thing came off. So for my Hobonichi weeks, the theme that I'm going to be doing, I have a better theme this week, guys. <laughs> if you had seen last week's uh, theme, I was just kind of not knowing what to do and was not really inspired, which was all like already signs of me feeling a little wonky. I, I can't explain it. Here's what I'm using today. I'm going to be using these two washies. This is a notepad this beautiful sticker sheet. I have used some and I want to continue using the others. And then this set is actually from Raw Element and I will be incorporating that also. So I'll be using that for my Hobonichi Weeks and for my B6, give me just one sec. The B6 is my personal journal entry for like the day. And with this one, I am going to be using the Functional Pastels. And I have some cool little, oh, by the way, nails, nails. Bit of an ASMR also. <laughs> um, I'll be using one of these. Not too sure which one I'll use, but I'm gonna use one of these. So in this one. Okay, so let me go ahead and get these out of the way. I tend to use my Hobonichi Weeks. I decorate my Hobonichi Weeks last because the scent tends to be the one that takes a little bit of the longest. If you are wondering, where is my A6? My A6, my A6, my A5 is right here. But guys, like I said, it was one heck of a week that I'm noticing I'm not using my daily sheets. That's okay. I'm just not, I'm not going to worry about it. I am not going to stress myself over pen and paper of not using that right now. That's okay. I haven't needed to plan out my day to a T lately. I'm going with the flow. Going with the flow. I'm going to use some date dots. Oh, I might need to grab some more date dots. I might need to make some more date dots. Also, I have not been using this lately. It seems like I've been wanting to do more evening reflections than morning reflections, morning intentions lately. I just feel like this whole week has just derailed for me and that's okay. Mental health is important, right? Right. Okay, we're gonna get started in this one. And while I do that, I actually have notes on the side this time. I feel like I have to have notes to keep me on track because I end up getting derailed I don't want that to keep happening. Like my wand to share, by the way, <laughs> as I start talking about derailing. Okay, so let me give you an update of what has been going on. Monday. Mm. Okay, 
if you had seen last week's video, and if you haven't, go watch it. Um, you'll get a little, like, like, kind of an update of what I'm gonna talk about. Think of it as a series. You have to watch, I guess, the one before to kind of know a little bit of what I'm talking about. So do you remember that I had talked about talking with the family member? Okay, let me back up. Family member was supposed to have surgery on the on Thursday, this past Thursday. I wanna do pink. Pink makes me happy. No, I'm gonna do rainbow. I'm gonna do rainbow. Okay. Thursday, a family member was uh, going to have surgery. The surgery went well. Oh surgery went well. It, it went fine. No problems. Yay. That was, that was pretty stressful. I was hoping everything would be okay. So the wife of the family member called me and said, you know, everything went well. They wanted to just update me, let me know. And I was like, thank you, thank you. Okay. Now, because of that family member, I had called another family member and our relationship had been kind of rocky for like the past four years, right? On Monday, because that four hour conversation we had was a really good conversation. We talked about a lot of things, about our mental health, <laughs> and how we're, you know, just kind of getting to know ourselves better and and such. And I'm really, really uh, happy for this person and, and, and their journey. And as I mentioned before that I will remind, thank you for respecting that I'm, I know I'm kind of vague, I'm not, mentioning what family member it is and such in detail because I am a little bit private but I still do want to talk about things because it helps me so that family member came over on Monday and we spent the whole afternoon together and had dinner together and talked for talked for hours I'm I'm like, wow, <laughs> it, um, it was so well, it's been going so well. And I'm very, very grateful. So that had happened on Monday. Oh, I also had breakfast with my family, my in-laws. I love my in-laws, my in-laws are so sweet. We had breakfast together. We tried a new uh, restaurant, it was pretty good. It was a lot of people though. You know, I don't, I'm like, I don't care for a lot, a lot of people, but it was really good. So that was, that was awesome. So I had breakfast with them and then I dropped my mother-in-law off at home and she did invite me to stay. Oh my gosh, this, is this month like almost over? <gasps> this month is almost over. This is the last week guys. We're going to have to plan a June plan with me soon. A monthly plan with me. I just realized that. My goodness. So I'll have to do that soon. And after I dropped off my mother-in-law, I was planning on, you know, coming home and washing clothes and all that. And then I decided to call that other family member and I said, hey, do you want me to pick you up? Do you want to like visit for a little bit? And that's when we spent the whole afternoon together and had dinner and watched a movie. It was, it was good, it was a good time. Yay, that one came out nice. Easy peasy. Oh, the 16th apparently came off on that. I will, um, I'll just put it back there. <laughs> I will fix that later. And Tuesday, so Tuesday for me, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do all the things. I ended up doing my nails, so just a little bit about my nails. My nails are actually press-ons, and I'm sure you could probably tell or whatever, but I've had them on since Tuesday. It's been a week? It's been a week, because today I'm filming and it's Tuesday, forgive me. I know, I'm just like late, but you know, it's better to be late than never, right? They're really cute. I've had so many compliments on them. Uh, life changing. I'm just saying. It made me, it helped me feel girly. So Tuesday was like a spa day for me of like 
refresh into my hair. I did my nails. I did the, all the things. I was productive. Wednesday. Let's talk Wednesday, guys. Wednesday, I was already kind of like, okay. Um, ended up going to work. I was a little, here's the thing. Like, I was a little nervous, right? I'm going back to work. And I have to stop saying and. I keep saying and and so. They're filler words. I need to stop with the filler words because I'm watching my, re-watching my own videos, right? Because I want to know like, okay, how can I change things, make things better? And I notice I say and I'm trying to stop. I am I'm trying to break the habit. You're probably going to notice it even more now. And you're going to be like, oh, yeah, she does. She does say all that. Wednesday, I ended up going back to work. And I was kind of nervous. I'm one of those that if I'm on a routine, I, I like routine, but then I don't like routine. I'm weird. If I have a routine, I feel put together. If I don't have a routine, I feel chaotic. And I needed to go back to work. Because, I mean, that's the normal thing to do is to go to work. I was so nervous. I was like, ugh. So I did take, I take these stress pills. And they're natural. They kind of help with, you know, anxiety. And I ended up doing that before going. It's all natural. It has um, like lemongrass, I think B12 to help calm the body it's all natural so I took that and you know just to kind of relax a little bit because I can feel my body just like ugh, it like tenses up I hate it I hate it yeah I wish I could just be like oh yeah I can just control it it's fine like, no it's like I feel my body tensing and I'm like oh here we go so I took that here I'm like all nervous right going back to work I don't know and this location that I go to because I I freelance so I go to different locations and this location everyone is so nice and so sweet but it's just me in my head of course overthinking and what happened I had a wonderful time I had a wonderful time at work talking to the girls and everything and just having a good old time I had a great time we're laughing, joking, the time went by fast. Before you know it, I'm already out of work. And I'm like, okay, there was the day. What was I stressed about? Yeah, welcome to my world. Welcome to my world of overthinking and anxiety. You know, I really, really am out there. It was great having good conversation, catching up. I hadn't seen them since I had gone on my trip. So it was just great. Everyone was so nice. And here I was just overthinking things as usual. Then Thursday. Thursday I had a, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Thursday I had a planner session, kind of just in my planner, playing in my planner, trying to keep it low key, keep it low vibe because I can already feel, I get signs like few days prior of these, like these little things that I know that I'm gonna have an attack soon and it's not that oh my gosh I'm gonna have an attack soon is that oh there's these like little signs I'm like okay here's this here's that and I know that it had to do with the stress of is my family members you know surgery gonna go okay I'm now talking to this other family member and we're trying to work on our relationship and you know, is that going to be okay? And, you know, I, I knew it can be even, it can even be good news. And if I have like a lot of good news, it's just if I get overstimulated. If I get overstimulated of really, really happy or bad news, it just, it, it just kind of throws me off balance. So I knew, I was just like, uh, I feel the signs. I feel my body just kind of being off. And I knew, I knew that it was gonna happen soon. Let me write this down. Okay. 
And uh, so Thursday, try to keep it low key. And then Friday, it happened. It happened. I ended up having an attack. I get frustrated. I just get frustrated. And I'm just like, why? Like, why? I was fine. I'm safe. I'm okay. You know? So it was a bad one. And it sucked. Because when it's like that, my whole day derails. And it's like you have so many things planned. And then that happens, and then you feel like you've, well, for me, I feel like I've been hit by a truck. I feel like I've been hit by a truck, and I just have to let it pass and just let it run its course, and then I'll, I know I'm going to be okay again. I understand what's going on with my body and what's going on with my brain. I just get frustrated because I, I wish that I could just be like, oh, no, I'm fine. I can control it, and it just, it, it just happens. So that day sucked really badly, um, but I did get some rest. Uh, my husband is phenomenal. You know what? I have a sticker for this and I'm not gonna forget this time. Cause I was like, I have a sticker for that. And I didn't put it and I'm gonna put it now. So the one that says this week, I'm gonna use that. Cause I have these stickers, yay. Oh, my little cow. So that's also why like I even had, okay, I'm going to film, do a plan with me and everything. If I'm not feeling it, guys, I'm not gonna fake it. I'm not gonna fake it. I'm not gonna pretend everything is okay when it's not. And if I need to take some time, I'm gonna take some time. The video is still gonna be done. It'll just maybe be a little late. And I hope that that's okay. And if not, well, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> Mental health comes first. I'm not gonna stress myself out to uh, making videos like this. I mean, it's fun for me, but I'm, I'm not gonna be stressing about it either and then cause more stress in my life. Like, no, no, it's just not gonna happen. Saturday, I went to work. I'm very happy that it happened the day before because I do love what I do and I don't want to miss out on work. And it was an event also. I didn't want to miss out on that. And I'm going to do notes just starting here on Friday. instead. I'm not going to think too much into it. Saturday. Let's talk about Saturday. Let's move on, right? Let's just move on. Saturday was an event and it was a collection of Stranger Things. Yay! It was a fun collection. I was nervous once again because I was going to a new location. I didn't know those people. And I was like, I'm going to have a good time. It's going to be fine. Like, I already know. I already know. I'm overthinking things. And guess what? I had a great time. Ended up reconnecting with someone that I didn't even realize. We both didn't realize. So we both, okay, we both work together, right? Again, please respect that I'm kind of vague, but okay. We both work together and we decided to go have lunch and we've worked together many, like, we've worked together in person. <laughs> Let me say that. Like, this is our second time, so we thought, working together in person. <laughs> and because we do a lot of phone communication working, 
right? A lot of phone, texting, that kind of thing. So we go to lunch together. Turns out, because we're just talking about live, getting to know each other, whatever, you know, lunch talk. Turned out we knew each other from years ago. Years ago. And we're like, wait, are you? Wait, are you? And we're like, oh my God, what? It just, it was so funny. It was a, like a little reunion. It was a little reunion. And now we just see each other so differently now. And, to, and who knew that we would end up working together again years later. What is it? Serendipity? Serendipitous? I was like, wow. All in all, here I was overthinking things and anxiety and all of that stuff. And then what ends up happening? Have a great time. Ooh, which one should I do? If I do this one, I feel like it gets kind of lost. I'm gonna do a heart. I need some love in my life. But I also like want no o hole. <laughs> when I see an eye, I'm like, okay, that's the no o hole for me. I really love the heart. So let's go with the heart. So the time passed by, it was quick. I feel like it's still getting lost. I felt like it was getting lost. There we go. Kind of pops out a little bit more. Oh, let me do like a little X. Again, I was overthinking things. Ended up having a wonderful time. Time went by fast, the event went great. I did makeup, met new people. Had a great time. Very grateful, very thankful. That brings us to Sunday. Sunday, spend time with the hubby. Again, a roller coaster of a day. I'm trying to work on myself too, I'm trying to trying to work on myself because I have this, I have this thing of interrupting people. I try not to interrupt people, but I get, I don't know. I get, I just get a certain way and then I'm interrupting. And apparently I've still been having that problem of interrupting. And I'm trying to work on it. I'm just having trouble with it. I grew up in a house where um, I was talked over a lot. And I'm trying to break those habits of me not doing that to someone else. Because I know what it's like when you're trying to get your point across. You're trying to talk. And the other person is interrupting you and not listening to you. And I don't want to make someone feel that way because I know what it feels like. Again, always constantly learning, right? Constantly learning about yourself. I like this one. I kind of like putting just like random ones in places. That looks good though. And then of course I'll like fill on the bottom. So what I'm trying to tell you is that we all have flaws. We all have things that we're working on. We're not perfect. No one is, you know, and if someone is trying to help you and make you aware of what you're doing, try to listen, especially if they're caring about you. I'm not talking about like gaslighting and like, okay, you know, they're just being ugly and all that kind of stuff. You know, genuinely, they're trying to be like, hey, you know, you keep doing this. Try to listen. Try to have an open mind. I think the biggest thing is that if you want to change and you want to help make things better, you know, don't be too hard on yourself and just keep, keep trying. 
try to catch yourself i'm trying to catch myself and be like oh let them finish let them finish let them finish talking you know relicuma you are going let's just go back here and this one i don't want to throw these away because they're too cute but I do want to change this up, so I'm just going to put that there for now. And I want to put this on here. What other news? So, other news that I do have is... I'll show you right now. This is just for decorative purposes. Not that I plan on writing on this, but it's just cute. I got a Tamagotchi. Yes. I did. I got a Tamagotchi. And my husband named it Little Shit. <laughs> Which is hilarious. I think it's hilarious. And you get to feed it and everything. And it goes places. Like, I remember back in the day when this, like, first came out. It was, I think, 97 when it came out. And, of course, as a kid, I was like, I wanted one. But, you know, life. Now, it's, like, this little mini game. And it has all this stuff you can do and go to the park and explore and take pictures and all that kind of stuff and did I need it no I didn't but is it adorable yes it is and am I playing it yes I am and it's cute because I see my husband he'll be like hey it went off I was like I didn't even hear it go off and he heard it go off and he's like cleaning up the poop and like playing the games and everything it's just it's adorable well, that is going to do it for this week. I need to do a monthly plan with me this week also. Because next week, that's it. It's June, baby. It is June. As I clean this up, I just want to say my little final thoughts. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to... Uh, try to work on yourself. It's okay if you don't plan to a T or forget your days <laughs> as far as like filling out things in your planner. The whole purpose of your planner is to just kind of hold you accountable, keep you on track to have a better life. And yeah, I know this video is probably a little bit deep, touching on, you know, some some personal issues and health issues but I want to make a safe space and I want to be able to talk about it because it always feels really good knowing that you're not alone and on that note thank you for joining me today I look forward to seeing you in the next video and remember have a wonderful day